Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Rates Upgrade. And for this very special episode, we'll be featuring the LEGO Custom Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus. But before we head on with this video, of course, against the PC Contest winners will be announced later on in the video, so check it out, guys! And now, on with the making of our Brachiosaurus. So here is our previous Brachiosaurus, but before it's actually the Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus, I broke its neck. And uh, I had to replace on several parts on this one, especially those of the giraffe um, neck part, as well as, you know, make several sculpting details on the head, the neck, and even the, um, the legs as well, because I think it's too straight on the back legs, so we're actually adjusting those also. Alright, so uh, after we have actually done those, um, we let it dry or we let it cure for a few hours and then on the next day we continue on several more adjustments on the head section as you can see here I have actually um, wet sanded everything else and you know uh, made it more uh, suitable for our new version of our Brachiosaurus. I'm sure it's bored, but he already wants to play with the Brachiosaurus. I told him not to uh, because it's still underway on its painting. So we have this already primered by Bossy number 68 in gray. And now that it's dried, it's now time for us to paint on this particular figure. And of course, we will be needing several brushes. Um, here are also my um, acrylics and also some water. Now it's time for us to start on the painting. So we started off with you know mixing some yellow ochre, a little bit of white, mixing also uh, uh, just a hint of black on this uh, particular color, and we're painting it on the lower parts or lower sections of the brachiosaurus. So that would include, of course, the lower parts of the neck, the uh, sections of the underbelly, as well as the lower sections or the bottom sections of our tail here. Alright, so once that is right, we actually mixed in some more black and a little bit of brown as well as purples on this particular uh, color and we're just transitioning that on the edges of the yellow underbelly that we have here on the Brachiosaurus body. We're also going to paint this on the um, sections of our legs as well. So here we have already a mixture of a gray and some browns and a little bit of yellow as well. So when, that, when it actually dried, it turned out a little bit more on the grayer side. Maybe my color blindness on the brown side and red side is quite, you know, um, functioning <laughs> at, the, at that particular moment. So I uh, went on and uh, recolored this one actually the day after. So here is the recolored version of our uh, Brachiosaurus so far, so it's more brown now than a gray. And uh, yeah, so we're now just going to place in uh, several more details on this one, such as, you know, um, uh, skin folds on, on the sections of the uh, underbelly. We're also going to color uh, the eye socket here so that it's more dark than the usual. We're also going to use this same color as the um, uh, 
uh, scales on the back sections of our uh, neck here as you can see here I'm trying to really make it as symmetrical as possible on the other side this will be also the same color this, that we will be using on the uh, back sections as well as the tail and also the scales uh, detailing on the uh, arms and legs of our Brachiosaurus. So initially when I was actually painting it as with other acrylics, when you paint it and it's still wet, it's more light or it's lighter in color but when it dries, actually it's more dark. So uh, that is one tip that I can actually give you guys when using acrylic paint. Also when making, you know, different sizes of uh, pebbling or scaling on the body, you may use different sizes of uh, brushes as well. So small scales would mean smaller brush and bigger scales would make actually bigger um, scales such as this one because I'm already scaling details on the body. I just think that the Brachiosaurus from Jurassic Park 1 is actually more iconic in terms of its appearance in the Jurassic Park franchise movies. So I wanted to transgress that on my Brachiosaurus instead of the Jurassic Park 3 one. Uh, Alright, so just a little uh, bit more details will be added on this one such as you know um, putting in the eyes on the Brachiosaurus and uh, adding in several more details such as uh, catch lights and also uh, several more skin folds on the lids of our Brachiosaurus and I should be calling it done. So we're just gonna skip now on the rest of the making of the video. Uh, you'll see later on the end product of our Brachiosaurus. And that's it for the making of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned something from it as well. Now let's move on to the next portion of the video. Of course, this is the announcements of the Guess PC Contest winners and we have 10 lucky picks and here they are. Leticia, Alazor, Emperor of Tombs, Iron Designer Nerd, Dragon Draw, Gavin, Blackfish, Hunter Hints, Ice Dragon, Godzilla Super. Congratulations everyone and now for our top 10 winners. Top Alucard. Rooney ML Tangkinisa. Ahmed Majbel. Rain March, Top 11 year old boy. Aiden Stevenson. Alton Dan. Green Fury, the Alasar of Agonax Gen 2. Rex. Victor Gabriel. And Colton Sarr. Congratulations, everyone. And. Uh, I'll see you on the next Guesses PC Contest! For those of you who would like to join, here's how. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage. And on the homepage, 
Just click on that community link and it will lead you to all my posts. I'll see you there! And now, on with the separate. Alright, so we have here our Brachiosaurus in parts. Let's now count the number of parts of this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 parts of this one. Let's start a sub rings. Let's begin with the head on the lower jaw. Let's put it on the neck. Lower neck. On the body. Now let's attach the tail. The legs. And that's it. Our Rachosaurus! Oh. And now for some extinct rich dino trivia! Did you know that the new studies by computer specialists suggest that Rachosaurus may not have carried its neck angle up as high as we thought once? It may have carried the neck more of a 45 to 60 degrees angle. Hello everyone, and we're here to present our Jurassic Park 1 Brachiosaurus. Okay, so it's a really big, um, you know, figure all in all, and I, I think this will be the first time that I will be showing a Brachiosaurus on this particular channel because I think the first version of the Brachiosaurus were actually um, the Jurassic Park uh, 3 uh, Brachiosaurus were actually presented in the other one which is the EB Toy Universe channel but here I have actually done a reversion or a remake of the Brachiosaurus this is the uh, Brachiosaurus of Jurassic Park 1 and there are a lot of changes as you have seen in the um, the making of the video so the the neck part actually broke and so I had to rebuild it this one um, the uh, seams were actually uh, remade as well because it's not really that good excuse me that good um, also the angles of the legs are also a repositioned so this is actually almost nearly a, 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 a good remake of our brachiosaurus here all right so maybe we'll be coming back later for some size comparisons and let's take a look closer at our brachiosaurus so coming in a little bit nearer so you can see here there's a lot of changes that I've done for the Brachiosaurus head. As you can see here, it's more, um, it's more in keeping with the uh, actual movie uh, Brachiosaurus. So from different angles, you can see here, you know, um, even from the front view of our Brachiosaurus, see, uh, it's uh, it gives you that um, nostalgic vibe that you're actually watching the movie. And then it's going to sneeze. <laughs> All right, so um, enough of that. So it actually has some details and additional details other than uh, what was actually done in the previous version. It has teeth. All right, as you can see here, the insides of the mouth are also colored, and as you can see here, uh, pink. Uh, the teeth, individual teeth on the lower jaw, is actually painted uh, individually. The eye section is also based off from the movie, as you can see here. It has a uh, detailing of um, uh, skin coats on the eyes and also it has this certain catch line to it so that it gives it uh, more of a sparkle and then of course the details on the neck such a long neck for this one also details on the body some skin folds on the uh, underbelly as well as on this section of the body as well and then uh, different color patterns or different variations of browns as well as uh, yellows on the uh, legs as well as that of the uh, body. The tail is pretty much the same. I haven't really changed it yet. So uh, those are the things that I actually changed on the 
Thesaurus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You can now move on with the size comparisons. Alright, and we're here for some size comparisons and going far away, yeah! So we have here, of course, Eevee. <laughs> Such a little poke, and also a Jurassic Park um, Jeepney Wrangler or Jeep Wrangler. So um, you can see here the sheer size of our Brachiosaurus compared to a human being, as well as that of a truck. Okay, so it's actually very similar to how the Jurassic Park um, Brachiosaurus is being depicted, and it's really large, as you can see here. Comparisons. Right, so. Let's now move on with some some comparisons of our current um, sauropods. Okay, so let's start with the smallest one. This is the baby Brachiosaurus, and you can see here it's so really it's so cute. Look at that. It's just about the right size of uh, compared to our Brachiosaurus. Our mama Brachiosaurus. Yeah. Great. So that's it for our other size comparisons. Let's now compare with another one. Jurassic World are the game Bonitosaura level 40 or max level. As you can see here it's really colorful. I like the overall look of it. Uh, you can see here it's really small <laughs> compared to the Brachiosaurus. However, look at those colors. It's so vivid and um, the combinations of those blues, yellows, and purples really work well on this particular design. So yay to Jurassic World the game as well as my Kirby toy universe. That's a Bonitosaurus for you guys. Another similar size um, sauropod would be this one, the Behatosaurus. Right, so this one is uh, one of those costumes that I was actually really looking forward to in making because um, one thing is I like the design of on most Behatosaurus, uh, it has the same, you know, white stripes on it, but actually a more important thing here would be the gradients of the dark browns to the lighter browns, uh, light orange colors, and then of course the uh, yellow taupe on the uh, bottom part of the figure. So, uh, definitely much smaller than our uh, Brachiosaurus here. So let's move on to some of the bigger ones that I have so this is the Dreadnoughtus right so our Dreadnoughtus is see it's almost the same size it's actually a little bit smaller than our Brachiosaurus but it's a bit taller in terms of um, the uh, shoulder height see and also the length our our um, Red Notice is actually longer than our Brachiosaurus because it had a longer tail, a little bit longer on the uh, torso or the body. Uh, the, the neck is actually uh, the same, but Brachiosaurus had, uh, you know, uh, a differently shaped head to it compared to our uh, Red Notice. So as you can see here, our Dreadnoughtus is uh, the coloration is very similar to that of um, the tiger from He-Man. <laughs> it had orange, you know, stripes, a green body, yellow under uh, underbelly. Yeah, so uh, I actually got the color inspiration from one of those um, people in Instagram that you know um, enhances the photos of. Um, or enhances the screenshots of the Dreadnoughtus so uh, they they did mention that it's actually colored green with orange stripes so yeah so that's a Dreadnoughtus for you guys another would be the older version of our of my um, Brachiosaurus I hope it fits the screen <laughs> it's quite big to be honest so this is the uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Lego uh, Brachiosaurus that I did years years back so I can't actually remember when was that one but as you can see here it's quite 
you know, the, the size is quite uh, different. The base figure for this one is actually those cheap um, brachiosauruses that had batteries on it and they link eggs on it and has the Godzilla sound. So, so that one was the uh, base figure that I had on this one. So, uh, you can see the difference in how I actually color the patterns of the Brachiosaurus on this one and um, a very you know um, the, the way I actually make my customs at the moment would be more intricate in terms of painting design as well as a smoother finish on most of my uh, figures so if you're if you're going to ask if I'm still going to keep the older version of the Brachiosaurus um, of course uh, it actually brings out memories from before from when I was still starting my um, customization um, here in YouTube okay so all right so another one would be one of my big favorite sauropods it's actually one of these sauropods that I um, I actually made for Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. This is Canarosaurus. Yeah! I like the design in this one because it's a mixture of the patterns of the Jurassic Park, or I mean Jurassic World Evolution Canarosaurus, and the colors of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So it has a bulky body, right? The, the legs are uh, quite the same in terms of height. The neck is long, of course, and with a boxy head. So, definitely, it's smaller than our Brachiosaurus. And, uh, yeah. So, this is our Canarosaurus of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So, uh, please, guys, if you haven't seen this video, please check it out. It's a really cool video, guys. So, right. So, next one we have... A recent custom that I made, this is the Ankylodocus. This Ankylodocus is based up from the uh, Jurassic World Evolution Ankylodocus. Um, I think that was the mod on um, Dr. Wu's creations. I, I forgot the exact title but it's something similar to that one. So it's a long piece, it's longer than our Brachiosaurus, however it's quite long. So the details on this one, so let me just uh, show it to you a little bit more clearer, would be, of course, since it's an Ankylodocus, it will have, you know, um, um, DNA of both Ankylosaurus as well as the Plodocus. So it has a club tail on its head, um, armor on its back, and those spikes on the head. So that's the Ankylodocus for you. Next up we have... This one! So, let me just give this uh, a really quick ad for you guys because I think um, the the way this one is made is really cool. It had this really good scope on the tail. As you can see here, it's really architectural. And uh, the, the, the um, uh, what do you call this? The details on the um, head covers as well as those on the legs as well as those on the arms are quite good. The coloration on the back as you see here is um, really well made done and uh, yeah so the sculpting also is really good on on, on this um, particular hybrid but yeah so it, I think this is Spinal Raptor compared to mine was you know uh, really out of the box, although so this is actually based off from the Jurassic World, uh, the game, uh, the way it was actually made was pretty, pretty uh, much on the dot, or uh, you know, it's it's quite. Uh, when you look at it, you will see that hey, that one is actually from the Jurassic World, the game uh, Spinal Raptor. So yeah, so this one is by Mike of EB Toy Universe. So. If you guys haven't uh, checked out the video yet, so please check it out. It's a really cool video. Rawr! Okay, so that's it for our size comparison, guys. But before we move on with our um, species roll call, I'd just like to, you know, uh, post up this one. This is our 
in your stories for you guys. So it, uh, this this particular story option, I'm really proud of uh, in terms of how I actually made it. Probably I'll be making the similar, you know, way of how I make my sort options based on this one. Uh, it had a little bit longer body, uh, the, the legs are quite longer as you can see here based compared to my other shirt options so far that are of this size. So you can also see the details on this one. It's very um, far from what I actually make my other uh, shirt options so far. So uh, watch out for this one. Probably I'll be making several more um, species of uh, uh, shirt options like this one. So if you haven't checked out the um, Aniosaurus guys, please uh, look up in the video and see um, this particular uh, custom line. So it's really cool, it's really detailed. As you can see here. There you go. Another um, another um, custom that I made also, again, was this one. This is the Euclidosaurus based on from Jurassic World Alive Euclidosaurus. So, uh, the details on this one is pretty simple, very Bambi-like, as you can see here. However, uh, the intricacies on this one actually lies on the antler, so it's quite a big, uh, you know, it's quite as, as big as the body of our um, Euclidosaurus here. And if you guys are, you know, um, into megafauna creatures, please check out my channel as well. Alright, so let's move on with uh, Species Roll Call. Okay, so we have here all our creatures that you've seen so far here that I have presented, at least for those sauropods. And um, uh, if you guys have other, you know, <laughs> um, suggestions of sauropods that you'd like to see here on Extinct Breaks, then please feel free to comment them down below. I will try to source in as much base uh, figures as I can. Uh, it's quite expensive, to be honest, to uh, source some bigger... Um, bigger figures but I'll try my best to you know uh, put in some uh, some uh, I guess allowances for that one so that I can make more sort of pods in the future but so far this is our uh, list or, or at least uh, what we've seen so far in this video also EB here would like to remind you guys I hope you can still see him although there you go um, that all that you see here is actually present in our Extinct Pits playlist uh, but I will be placing in individual links to each and every creature here so that you won't have to search them up over the 200 plus figures or customs that I've made so far here on this channel. Right, so let's start with the species roll call. Let's start with this baby, uh, St. Briggs Camp Cretaceous Brachiosaurus. Say hi! We also have here our extinct bricks, the Hadosaurus. Our Extinct Rix Jurassic World Evolution and Kylodocus. This is my very first sauropod, our Extinct Rix um, Jurassic World Lego uh, Brachiosaurus. This is our Extinct Rix Jurassic World Dominion Prologue uh, Dreadnoughtus. This is our Extinct Rix Jurassic Park Creation Genesis Camarasaurus. And of course, AB Toy Universe. Uh, Jurassic World again, uh, Bonitasaurus, level 40. And of course, the start of the show here, our Extinct Bricks, Jurassic Park, Brachiosaurus for you guys. Ooh. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be placing in additional, you know, um, uh, clips of our Brachiosaurus here. So watch out until the end of the video. Wow, I thought the ground was shaking. Such a big girl this Brachiosaurus is. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, for all your likes, your shares, and your views on this channel, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Also, please don't forget to support our other channels, Simul Ibit Soka Universe and the Adventures of Moira and Usher. Please watch their videos and support their channel by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar! Thanks everyone! Bye!